So you also have a, a chapter dedicated to uncovering transformational insights. That includes things like making sure uh, your journey is a purposeful one, practicing humility, and handling roadblocks. Tell us more about this. A lot of times, you know, people don't have enough self-awareness, okay, to understand what it is they really need to do to achieve what they want to achieve. They, they see the end game, but they don't necessarily, you know, know what it is that they have to do personally to get there. Let's say you might want to be a CEO, okay? And, you know, you, you have a really great marketing background. You have good operating background, okay? But your financial ability is weak, okay? You know, you don't have that ability. And maybe your communication ability is not as strong as it needs to be because you can't clarify and simplify your thinking as well as it needs to, okay? If you go through the self-coaching analysis okay and self-awareness you would say hey man i've got to i've got to learn how to build my financial skills okay and i've got to learn how to simplify my thoughts and communicate better if i'm truly going to become a ceo okay and once you get that's the insight that can transform your ability to get to where you want to go only if you develop an action plan to get you there Okay, in which we also talk about in, in, in the book. But there's something you have to uncover that will tell you what you need to do to get to where you wanted to go. One of the things I talk about in the book, we have what I call the three by five exercise. I do it every year. I write down, what am I today? What do I need to be tomorrow? Okay, you know, and, you know, I, I used it as a coaching tool. I had my top 50 uh, leaders always, you know, share their three by five card with me. And I shared my three by five card and I'd say, hey, I want you to help me uh, achieve it. But, you know, one year, you know, I, I was looking at myself and, you know, I'm very passionate. You know, I'm very committed to, to what I believe. I'm very convicted. OK, that's great. OK, but the problem is you can scare the hell out of people if you're the CEO. OK, you can overwhelm them. OK, so my transformational insight was, is that I had to let people know that I was aware of that. OK, and I needed their help when I was getting a little carried away. OK, you know, fight back, you know, and also, you know, and, and give people permission to, to, to take you on and ask their help to do that. And I think by me going public with that and sharing that with everybody, I think I became a much better uh you know, more reflective, much better listener and, and a little bit more, less of a, you know, you know, uh, too much of a hard charger. OK. And, and tempered it. I wanted to go from being passionate and enthusiastic to tempered enthusiasm. OK. And tempered passion. And I think that, you know, that's how that's how I think you you can really have insights that can get you to where you want to go.